Okay, we're by the side of the road. It's, it's, it's not snowing now. It's just raining. It's spitting rain. There's no snow out. You can take your chains off now. You don't want to be driving with chains right on the road without any snow. It's going to eat up your, your tires. Everything's going to get loose. There's no reason to have your chains on then, is there? Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and take these chains off. Do it in the same, same way as before as you put them on. We're going to just, we're going to take this metal sec section piece off first. Okay. And have that just like that. And make sure, make sure these hooks stay nicely pressed on there because if not, if these slip around too much, they could come loose and fall off. You don't want it falling off. That's why they're pinched together like that and they shouldn't be able to come out through there, okay? Because then I can just leave this just like how it is. I'm not gonna pull these all back together or anything. Okay, so now I'm gonna, gonna take this red thing off here. So far, so good, right? And so, before you do anything else, you're gonna unclick this top bit here. If you can, I've got, I've got it. Boy. Looks like I might, oh, okay. It seemed to be caught, I couldn't get it, so I just kind of wiggled a little bit, and then, then it came out. If you're, having, if you're having problems with that, you might want to carry uh, some pliers with you or something. Okay, now i got to pull this back up over so I can reach it. And I've got to just keep it back here. And I'm just going to undo that. Remember that hooks, that hooks and pulls on there, like that. I didn't get, I didn't get a close up of that, did I? But you see there, this thing just fits in that little groove and pops on like that. Okay. So now I might not be able to get it off now because the tire is over it, right? And that's okay. And like this in the snow, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to back up over, over your chain. Okay? I'm gonna leave it just like that. Get that get that kind of pulled out of your way. And we're going to go over to the other side. And do the same thing. Now this, once you do this a couple times, practice, practice in your garage, you'll have no problems with this. But there's no way I want to go through all of that while it's snowing, cats and dogs, out on the highway. You know what I mean? Just no way do I want to do that. No sir, Reba. No sir. -ry. I'm just gonna take that off. I'm not gonna worry about anything else except getting this. And look at that. I got it. I got it here. That's because I took this off, remember? And I readjusted it. Okay. So same way, same way as before. I will pull this out of here. This one's this one's up on the top because I had it pulled out. Remember? So this one's different on the tire, isn't it? I'm gonna have to. Oh, I'm gonna have to remember that. Well, 
that might not be very good. It would probably be the best if when you're uh, when you're installing your chain, uh, you then when you stop your car by the side of the road to take them off, you have these facing up in the same direction. And this one's not faced up in the same direction because I was backed up, remember? The other side, I did it while it was in the garage. This side I had while I'm out of the garage. So where I have it hooked up, uh, the hook actually is going to be um, down at the bottom, isn't it? So that's not gonna be, that, I'm not gonna be able to like reach that, am I? So I'm glad I, I guess I'm glad I did that. Okay, so just for kicks, I'm gonna do it the right way. I'm gonna do it the right way. I want this, I want this up here tight. back up to about where I was before, before I take this off, okay, because the cable on the back side is way down here, I want that cable up high, don't I, okay, so I'm going to get back in the car, and uh, um, I just have to back up so that this red is up here, that's all, I'm going to do that now, I'll just keep the I'll just keep the camera rolling. I'm just, I'm just guessing because I don't have anybody out here. Looks like I gotta go back a little bit further. So does it make a difference when you're taking these off? Yeah, I would, I would, I guess I would imagine you want to take them off in the same way. Remember that red hook was, was up at the top. This hook was down at the bottom. That way that cable is right behind here. Okay, so before I do that cable, I'm going to do this in sequence. This goes off first. I am very glad I'm doing this because I have a feeling this week it's going to snow and we're going to use these chains. Now I'm going to unhook this here and reach back in there and kind of lift that up and that's right where that cable is. I'm going to unclick it, pull it around like that. I can't get it out because it's, it's on it. And so I'm going to back up a little bit more and get that off so I can pull the chain out. Okay, there's my chain. And remember, in the bag, it was kind of like that. It was just looped around, and I can put it, I can put it right back in the bag. Just like that. And I can go around 
I can go around to the front. I'm pretty sure I'm off it. Over here, see, I put that chain on when I was way up high in the garage. Okay, so now that chain I can take out. I'll just be situated how it was before. Okay. And if I was if I was going to put it back in the plastic bag, I don't want to just throw this in the car this way. You know, I, mean, I guess I could if it, was, if it was really raining hard outside and I didn't want to just put this back in the plastic bag now. Whatever. You see, I could just do that business there and I'm going to stick it back in the plastic bag. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's do that. Okay. Now that wasn't too bad, was it? I'm glad we had these directions. And I like, I like how this company had the directions sit on a nice little piece of plastic. And I'll fold that up and I'll make sure I save that because next time, if I forget how to install the, uh, the chains, I'll review it with this. But uh, for kicks, now that you've seen how I installed these particular chains, and not all chains are are going to be installed uh, equal, mind you. Look at your directions, see how your chains are going to, going to go. And like I say, they also have cables. Uh, cables are, you know, um, they're not a chain. It's just a cable that goes straight across and then another one straight across, straight across, straight across. It doesn't come down at an angle and then another one straight and then back down over like that, another one up here. It's cable after cable after cable after cable. And for some reason, I'm not sure why we, we didn't get the cables. We talked to the guy, the salesperson. Cables work just as well, supposedly. And uh, I've, I've always had chains. This is, this is old school, but you know, again, they still sell them. They still sell them. And I, th and I think uh, they were like $120, $140, something like that. And so, you can get you can get different sizes, different prices. Go around, check the different places, and see how much your chains are going to cost. So, so just for review, I'm going to go ahead and install these again. This this time, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it faster because I know how to do it now, right? And you should be able to know too. You'll you'll know exactly what I'm going to go through when I install these. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do, right? Man.